Bold and the Beautiful fan, oh my honeys, you better sit down with a cup of tea because today's episode was juicier than a ripe peach in the summer sun. We got hugs, new family dynamics, and more drama than a high school prom night. I'm going to give you a few highlights and then we'll unpack this episode. First, we see Bill introducing Liam to his new family. Steffi catches Finn and Hope together and Hope, yes, yeah, she wakes up from that kiss. So without any further ado, that's Let's dive right into this chaos for June 10th. Over at Bill's, it's moving day, and let me tell you, it's like Christmas morning over there. Poppy and Luna, they're carting in boxes like they're unwrapping gifts, and Bill is grinning from ear to ear like a Cheshire cat. Now, he's got that new dad glow, and Luna, oh yeah, she's practically floating on air. She's even squealing dad, and what does Bill do? Bill just melt. They hug, and then guess what, too? Poppy's over the moon as well, finally seeing her dream of a real family coming true now she plants a big kiss on bill and i guess it's a kodak moment for sure bill gives them the grand tour of the mansion and they're oohing and on like they stepped into a fairy tale luna's eyes are wide as saucers but she's clear she'll live anywhere as long as she's with them Oh, isn't that sweet? Meanwhile, back at the cliff house, Steffi is on a rant about Hope to Liam. She is spitting fire, y'all. She convinced Hope is up to no good promoting a cozy relationship between Finn and Sheila. Doesn't she realize how dangerous this is? She's venting. Liam, bless his heart, little puke waffle boy Liam, is trying to play the peacemaker, suggesting maybe Hope isn't out to ruin her life. But Steffi, yes, yeah, she's having none of it. Hope is getting on her last nerve. She is filming. Liam phone buzzes with a text from Bill summoning him to the house and before he heads out he gives Steffi his best calm down dear look but we all know that's like throwing a bucket of water on grease fire. So now Liam rolls up to Bill's place and boy is he in for a surprise. Bill introduces him to Poppy and Luna and Liam's eyebrows nearly shoot off his forehead. Say what now? He stammers as Bill drops the bomb that Luna, yes Luna, RJ's Luna, is his half sister. Now Liam's head is spinning faster than a merry-go-round but he's taking it in stride and he seems pretty happy from what we see. Cut to Forrester Creations, and we've got Hope and Finn heating things up in the office. Or, so it seems, turns out it's all in Hope's head. Snap back to reality, and she's sipping water like it's going out of style, trying to cool down those unexpected feelings. Now, Finn's all concerned and charmed, wondering what's got her so flustered. Hope's trying to play it cool, but honey, she is as obvious as a cat in a dog park. She rambles about her complicated feelings how her relationship with Liam he slept around but he was a good guy and as for Thomas he was Ooh. all attentive but he has a history and yeah Finn being the gentleman after all of the hints she dropped about Liam and Thomas reassures her that she deserves a good guy and he offers to set her up and for a moment their hands touch enter Steffi stage left and she's not happy What's going on in here, she's demanding, and her eyes were shooting daggers. You talking about drama alert. And finally, in another corner of Forrester Creations, Katie and Carter are having a heart-to-heart -heart in the office. Katie got Bill on the brain, and she's spilling the tea about Bill's surprise daughter, Luna. Now, of course, Carter is gobsmacked trying to process this new twist. Katie is unsure about how she feels about the whole situation, especially with the memory of her last yes as in past tense relationship with carter being fresh carter nudges her trying to get a read on her true feelings about bill's new setup and the family he has now katie admits that she's worried about how will her son with bill will take having a sibling not to mention another baby mama in the mix now carter's doing his best to be supportive but you can see the wheels turning in his head but definitely turning in her head however in the end it looked like like we got the answer to their relationship i guess it's officially over and katie and carter are no more okay whew what an episode love hugs jealousy and secrets i mean this episode delivered it all today let me know your thoughts down in the comment section what do you think about 
Bill introducing Liam to his new family. She does have another brother with Wyatt. I mean, all of them, I guess, are half siblings, but they are one big old happy family right now. Staffy catching Finn and Hope together. Staffy already has her, you know, suspicions about Hope, especially with the Sheila situation. Well, Staffy, yeah, you need to keep an eye out for Hope because she's also checking for your husband, too. And then Hope, we just spoke on her. She wake up from that kiss talking about how red and flustered she was. Tell him what's going on in your mind, he wants to know. Oh, I don't think you want to know what's going on in her mind, Finn. I mean, it might have you blush. But yeah, it looks like uh, she's crushing on you, Finn, and you don't even realize it. Uh, all those compliments, she is soaking it up like a sponge. She is definitely a person that loves words of affirmation and attention, and it is definitely a turn on for her. Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you check out the Young and the Restless recap for today as well. As we see Ashley saying goodbye to Tucker, we also had a very begging Cole and Michael wanting a second chance with Victor. And yeah, Audra, she getting all all kind of cancels with this glissade situation make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted and until the next one we'll see you next time bye guys